Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for joining me. Okay, I have finally have my spinner with the extenders on the website. I'll link that in the description box underneath this video. It's uh, ericahughesart.com. So before we get into today's pour, it's going to be um, a chaos style Dutch pour. I'm just going to walk through how I set up my canvas on my spinner with the extensions. If these extensions, if you have no need for them, you can get the spinner on my website on its own, or you can get the combo with the extensions and the spinner. If you already have my spinner, I do have an ad for just the extenders. However, these extenders are specifically designed to fit my spinner. I am going to be doing testing on other spinners, other popular spinners like the cake spinner and all that. Um, but I've been through a few prototypes to get these to fit how I want, how I like them. So I'm just going to walk you through, uh, I'm not going to be spinning with this today because I'm probably going to do a giveaway soon. Um, and I already have my, my spinner that's covered in paint and all that, but I hope you guys are well and I'm excited for today's pour. I have two TLP colors, uh, a latte and lagoon, which is my first time using it. And I have been waiting to get my hands on this color. So really quickly, how I set up my spinner. Um, I just take this disc, this hexagon cut out and place it in the middle and grab my arms and then just one by one attach it in. And then at the end of the video, I'll probably show you guys as well how I kind of wipe them down and clean them off when I'm finished using. And the last one. Okay, and what I'm going to do is grab a canvas. Whoops. Now. So when I put a canvas on, I'm probably, I think I'm going to be using a 12 by 24 in today's pour, but I wanted to show you guys um, just how to put the canvas on, how I do it. It comes with six clips, uh, just little U-hooks that, that kind of help, well they do help, um, prevent your canvas or whatever surface you're pouring on free flying. So this is actually, these little clips is what... Um, it was a last minute add-on and that's kind of what slowed up my initial dates, but you know, that's just, I just, I made this for, designed this for me, for my studio and I love it and I hope you guys like it as well. So I'm going to spin this so you can see how these clips, now with the clips, you don't actually have to have them touching, just, you know, you can have them a couple centimeters out or they can touch whatever suits there. They don't cover a lot of the surface. Um, they don't go up too high. So you're not really worrying about um, the paint will eventually, like when you move your canvas will fall down, but you don't have to have them exactly touching. I'm so excited about this. Okay, so now I'm gonna spin it and just show you guys that the canvas is kind of chilling out in its, in its place and not free flying. So I mean, I wouldn't normally spin this hard, but I'm just gonna show you guys. So that didn't go anywhere. That's good. Um, I normally wouldn't really spin that hard, but I just wanted to show you guys why I added on these clips for you hard-handed spinners, you aggressive spinners. Um, okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to swap out my canvas and my spinner and extensions because I am probably going to be doing a giveaway with these, so keep your eyes open with that. So let me get rid of this and I will be right back. All right, so I have my setup in my extender setup in the X position. So there's a full setup, which you guys have just seen. There's an X position you can set it up in and a Y position. Uh, so for today, I'm doing the X and I have a 12 by 24 inch deep edge canvas. I might not even be spinning, but just in case I put the clips in. Um, plan is to do chaos style Dutch pour. We'll see what happens. I do. This is kind of like my little station setup now because I can maneuver my canvas easily. Uh, we don't have to do the boob dip. So I have short arms, I'm short, so it works for me. I love this thing and I hope you guys like it. Um, but yeah, let's just jump into the pour. I'll go over the colors with you guys really quick. I have a new TLP, which is gorgeous. It's called Latte and I have used this once before. 
gorgeous, gorgeous. It's like a cream champagne kind of color. And then Lagoon. Look at Lagoon. Gorgeous. Love it. This is a first for me. I've been waiting for this color. It's absolutely gorgeous. And then we have Phalo Blue by Amsterdam, which I haven't used in so long. And then I have Sea Glass by This Little Piggy. One of my favorites. And Mermaid by This Little Piggy. So we have a lot of TLPs today. And then Greenish Blue by Amsterdam. You guys know how much I love the Greenish Blue by Amsterdam. And over here I have Titanium White by Amsterdam. We're mixed with Floetrol today, American Floetrol, and some uh, gloss gel for my pigments with a dash of American Floetrol. Okay, let's jump in. All right, first I'm gonna just drizzle some white down. Actually, we'll just pour a little bit. Let's see. Hopefully I have enough paint. I need to go paint shopping. Okay, and then some latte. Now I have to keep in mind I have a deep edge canvas, so I need the paint to cover the edges, which whatever is not covered at the end, I'll go back and fix. Let's go with... Sea glass. And let's get a tube in there. Let's go for the greenish blue. So pretty. Okay, and let's drop in some phalo. Again, it's been forever since I've used this color. Some mermaid. Lots of paint. And we get them all. I might want to top off with some latte. Oops. Cup dip. Do the edges here. It's always hard watching a f fresh product get paint all over it, but that's just the name of the game. Okay. Now, I'm going to take my stick with my white on it and just white and blues just react so well, so get some in there. That's so pretty. Okay, so I'm going to blow this around so we can get some cell reaction. So I have my travel hair dryer. It's Baby Bliss, 1200 watts. There's a low and a high setting. I stick it on low and it does blow warm air. I don't have a cool shot or anything like that. Okay, but there's no doubt the colors are gorgeous and there's lots of cells reacting. Oh, okay. Okay, so I'm gonna fill this in with some white. I'm gonna move these cups out of the way. Okay. 
Um, uh, another thing about the spinner and the extenders, I ship to the U.S. Um, I really ship anywhere. Uh, I try to get the best pricing on shipping as I can. And, okay, so we're going to have some edges we're going to clean up, but we're just going to go for um, finish the pour off. But, this is so, it's so shimmery. Okay, and look at all the cells. Oh, okay, love it. Um, spill in some white. And I will blow this white around with my hair dryer to spread it out. Anyway, let me know what you guys think, uh, how they look, and all that good stuff. I'm really excited about this. I hope you guys like it. It's For me, it's just become part of my studio now. Like, when I go to do a pour, I'm like, even if I'm not spinning, I'm like, I just have to set it up. So, it's kind of like a new, just fluid art tool for me, and I love it. Okay. So let me get this off to the side, and then we're going to blow this white around. Okay, it's really pretty. Um, so now we're going to blow out some petals. Love, love, love it. Okay. I'm going to obviously mess up some of these cells, but we'll get some more. And they are stunning. Okay. Let's see. Wish me luck. This is always the um, the harder part. You have to kind of work your composition and all that and make sure things are looking good. So um, you might see me start here, but jump over there or just have to see. I kind of go as I'm going. So, all right. It's so sparkly. Okay. Okay, let me have a look. I love the colors. I love how there's so much color on this canvas and just some nice small amount of negative space. 12 by 24 inch canvas are so fun to work with, especially with this technique. Okay, so we got lots of cells popping up here. I'm going to go around. I'm happy. I'm going to leave it. I like this part. Just gives it something different to look at. Um, I'm going to go around the edges and just scrape some of this drip down and fill in. There's not much to fill in, so it'll be easy and quick enough. Uh, I'll do that and I'll be right back. Okay, so here we have it. I've touched up my edges and my sides. Everything's matched and covered, so there's no canvas showing. Bring it in for a close-up and then you have to check out the sparkle. There are so many TLPs in here. I love it. You guys can get your TLPs at fluid-art.co. I'll link them below as well. If you guys haven't joined my Facebook group, Acrylic Pour House with Erica Hughes, I will link that down below as well. And of course, if you want the spinner and extenders, there will be a link to my website, ericahughesart.com below. All right, I'm going to stick the flash on, and I'll be right back. Look at that. So. Look at the latte. Okay, be right back. Okay, so flash on. Check this out, you guys. Love it. Look at the latte. Oh, so gorgeous. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I love that. 
Whew, okay, um, yes, let me know what you guys think in the comments below, and I will talk to you guys soon. As always, thank you so much for stopping by. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please hit the subscription button and the bell to be notified when I upload new fluid art videos. All right, guys, until next time, I will talk to you guys later. Bye. All right, guys, so I've moved my canvas over to the drying area. I just wanted to walk through really quick and just show you guys, watch me break this down. I may speed this up, I'm not sure. Um, okay, so as you can see, there's not loads of paint, so I'm just gonna take the palette knife. Scrape that off. I'm just get some of the big stuff off. It's always hard to watch these fresh, <laughs> unpainted arms get, um, you know, covered in paint, but it is what it is. So when I take the clips off, I kind of just sort of rock them off, okay, and then put those there for a second. Rock that, rock that. Now I'm just going to give, just have a little cloth here, just give them a little wipe. They're going to be stained. I just make sure, my main thing is just to make sure there's not loads of drips. I'm sure you should see my old one is like kind of covered in drips. Still works great. Not an issue. If I have left a drip and it's annoying me, I'll just get a little sander and a little piece of sandpaper and sand it off. Not a big deal. So those are done. So we move these off to the side. Okay, now for the arms. I always just go in. Now when I'm taking these out, I kind of just wiggle side to side and then they come right out, right? So there's that. And then I just throw it down. This is moisture resistant MDF. So it helps with, uh, you know, your no warpage or anything like that. So again, we just go in, wiggle that off. The wingspan on these is from this end to this end is 35 inches. Okay, and that, these eventually will become an artwork in themselves with all the different colors that are kind of stained on there. It's very easy. I chose to have the spinner low profile, like lower to the counter or the table because it suits my studio um, or in my, in my table. I don't want, I feel like just kind of, the paint doesn't go as far and it kind of just contains the mess a little bit more. If you wanted it to sit higher, you can just put a board underneath to raise it, but I like it low, so that's what I'm doing. So there's that. Let's get this other last one off. Yeah, I just wipe it off. You just do it with a dry kitchen towel or dry cloth, whatever. And that's it. Put that off to the side. And if you're not spinning big, then you can just use the spinner. There's hardly any paint on that, so I'm not going to worry about that. Um, and I'll just sort of wipe off my, my spinner. And then I'm done. And I love it. <laughs> so yeah. Um, if you have any, you know, if I usually like end up where there's just gonna be paint all over it, but I'm trying to, you know, tidy up a little bit more. Um, I have a few like little drips that I missed, so not bothering me. I can leave them, or if you wanted, if it bothered you, you could just take again a small bit of sandpaper, flatten it out. But for me, it's not a big deal. And there we go. That's how I break down my spinner. Right guys, I hope you enjoy. Again, if you're interested in the setup, you can check out ericahughesart.com. Talk to you guys soon, bye.